Hey, all right, all right, all right. Welcome back down here to Bobby, 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 Bobby Ford down here in Southeast Louisiana. Happy Saturday. I think it's the 29th. Not sure, but uh, did some work on some blades today. So I'm working on some uh, kitchen knives for a friend and a skinner. And here's what they look like. Uh, these are going to be hidden tang. And that's why I milled these out. So that the epoxy will adhere to that. And then here's the skinner. So um, these are pretty cool. These are made out of concrete saw blades. And I took them down from 200,000 to 50,000. Um, they've already been through the heat treat. No warps at all. Uh, it warped when I was heat treating. But uh came up with a little trick. I had a block of metal that was my grandfather's from Bethlehem Steel that my brother gave me uh, when I went up to visit him this summer. And it is just perfect enough to sit on those blades on my anvil instead of a big railroad uh, rail. And they're perfectly flat. Uh, this one here is the Skinner. Uh, I did not grind the cutting edge up in here yet. I'm going to do that after I anneal. So I've had some problem with annealing where uh, I anneal the blades and they break. They have a little warp. I try to straighten them out and they break. So these three blades... Uh, I'm going to put them in the easy bake oven, cook them, but this time I made some jigs to put in my vise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull each one out individually, put them in the vise, crank the vise down, and let them cool. And then that way I won't have any kind of warp. So um, these were actually awesome blades because I was able to use the surface grinder and uh, look i did three blades in about four hours uh that's from cutting and these are all material removal by the way so that's from cutting uh surface grinding put them on the belt sander with my surface grinder attachment and getting them to a finish that i like and then uh Milling out the handles and drilling out the handles and getting them ready for annealing. So, uh, that was a good day. I mean, everything's going pretty good. Uh, you know, they canceled the blade, uh, the knife show, uh, but they rescheduled it for the 13th and 14th. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it. So, I have some knives for sale and everything, but hey, look, it's all good. I just love making blades. So, uh, y'all get a chance. Go over there and check out my YouTube channel, Bobby Bite. Go over there and check out my uh, Facebook page, Bobby Bite Blades. And go over and check out my website, BobbyBodyBlades.com. Um, I have to make some handles for these, and I'll show you what they look like tomorrow. But, hey, you know, my job is to make you quality blades. Your job is to make me famous for 2024. All right, all right, all right.